International Week has campus buzzing, and we're here to tell you what you need to know. And the week before Thanksgiving is coming to a close. Coming up, what you can do to protect yourself from the North Carolina forest fires and what to expect from the weather as the days get colder. All this and more on the Paladin Network News. Wondering what's up with all the flags in the library? All week long, Berman has been celebrating International Education Week, which is a celebration aiming to highlight the benefits of international education and exchange worldwide. You can head on over to the DH for lunch any day this week to try out an international dish highlighted at the International Food Station. Bon Appetit chefs are working alongside students to create authentic dishes that highlight the student's nationality. The many flags hanging throughout James B. Duke represent all the international students' countries as well as our study away programs. You can even pin your own hometown on a map displayed when you first walk in. Tuesday evening, the Furman International Student Association hosted an international fashion show, CLP, that showcased traditional clothing, clothing from all around the world. Students in attendance who received CLP credit for the event were exposed to many cultural pieces from multiple nationalities that make up Furman's own student body. Furman University is proud of the international presence on its campus and encourage all members of the Furman community to participate in the celebration. Furman University's Focus held Mental Health Week this past week in order to raise awareness and help those struggling with mental illness, as well as coming up with ways to de-stress and stay calm amidst the often rigorous college environment. Some of their activities included a trail mix bar, a CLP on depression and suicide prevention, handing out stress balls, dog therapy, and free yoga at the pack. This was a great way to help out students, and I know that my stress ball has come in clutch these past few days. The smoke is still hanging around, and the days are starting to feel more like fall. Hannah Catherine has the inside scoop on what's going on and how you can prepare for the days ahead. Have you noticed the haze over Furman's campus this past week? You're seeing and smelling smoke from forest fires in western North Carolina. Nine major fires are burning and the smoke has made its way to Greenville. Officials are labeling the air quality code orange and red and are advising you to limit your time outside. Right now, the fires do not pose a threat to Furman's campus. Now let's take a look at our weather leading up to Thanksgiving break. It's about time to dig out your winter coat because lows are expected to be in the low 40s with highs in the 60s. And Sunday is going to be a particularly cold one with the possibility of weather in the 30s. Stay warm out there, folks. Now back to you, Kate. In sports, the Furman football team will look to end a tough season on a high note this Saturday when they visit Mercer. The men's soccer season came to a close in the SoCon quarterfinals versus UNC Greensboro, while the women's team lost a heartbreaker to Samford 2-1 in the SoCon semifinals. Other fall sports coming to a close are the Furman men's and women's golf teams that saw senior Bryce Howell earning fourth place in the men's team's final tournament, with the women's team ending the season ranked fifth overall in the nation. The Furman men's rugby is also ending the fall strong, winning the Southern Conference overall on the final home game. The Furman men's basketball team has kicked off their season with a 1-1 one -one record and looks to upset the Georgia basketball team this coming Thursday. Stay tuned for more updates as the winter sports season gets underway. We here at Paladin Network hope you have a wonderful week. I'm Jake Gerber. And I'm Kate Lewis. See you around campus. <laughs>